We've all heard of self-breast exams, but how about a skin self-exam? Today in Health Matters, we have the head-to-toe checklist on examining your body for any signs of skin cancer. Some people compare Southwest Florida to living in paradise, but the Sunshine State can create a lot of stress on your skin. We know that uh, light complexion people are more at risk, significantly more at risk for developing skin cancers than medium and darker pigmented people. More than one million cases of skin cancer will be diagnosed this year. So no matter what type of genetic makeup you have, it's important to do a self-examination starting with the head. Scalp can develop skin cancers, particularly people with light hair and who don't have very dense hair. Then it's on to those hard to reach places. This is where you may want to ask for help from family members or friends. So the scalp, behind the ears, areas that are difficult to look at and that you don't routinely look at every day, these are the areas that you need to include in your total body survey that should be done at least twice a year. Rounding out the self-exam, the arms, legs, feet, areas that see the most sun exposure. Also check under your forearms and in between your toes. If you're not trained to recognize uh, and suspect lesions but something doesn't look right, you should have it looked at. A quick self-exam now that could mean less problems in the future. Reporting for Lee Memorial Health System, I'm John Bafar. The Skin Cancer Foundation reports that one in five Americans will develop skin cancer at least once in their lifetime.